Now suppose we're told to rewrite this expression so that each unique base is raised to only one power and that all of our variables are raised to positive powers. I personally believe for these type of problems where we're simplifying, it's always good to start with using the power rule. If the power rule is within the problem, I would use it. So in other words, do we see variables raised to power within parentheses then raised to another power? Well, it looks like we have that when we have x to the third times z, all of that raised to the second power. And once again, if we use the power rule to rewrite this, we would distribute the two into the power of both x to the third and z to the one, which will then give us x to the three times two times z to the two. And I'm gonna put z to the fourth next to z to the second power so that all of my variables are side by side. In other words, I just switched it with the position of y to the negative two, and we can do that since multiplication is commutative. And we'll bring the denominator over as itself. So now that we took care of all of our powers raised to another power, let's take care of the products of variables. In other words, can we see anywhere where we have variables within just the numerator or just the denominator that have the same base or the same variable raised to a power multiplied by each other? Well, it looks like in our numerator we have z to the second times z to the fourth. Now recall, this uses the product rule. And that is, if I have a variable raised to a power times a variable raised to another power, I can rewrite that as the variable raised to the sum of the two powers. So I have z to the second times z to the fourth, and I can rewrite that as z to the two plus four, which is z to the sixth. And I'm gonna bring down x to the three times two, which is x to the sixth. Now I'll just bring everything else down as it is. So for now, we took care of the product rule. Now let's get rid of our negative powers. Our only negative power is y to the negative two, and so we can move that down to the denominator to make it positive. So we took care of our negative powers. And it looks like now in the denominator we have to use the product rule again because we have y times y to the second, which is gonna be equal to y to the third power using the product rule. We just add the two powers together. And so our final answer is x to the sixth power times z to the sixth power, all divided by y to the third power times the quantity x plus one.